Well, if traffic seems slow on Highway 6 South today, at least it was for a good reason. That's right. First responders from across the country continued the seventh day of their almost 800 mile journey of the Brotherhood Ride. Today, they rode from West to Bryan to honor 19 firefighters who died in the line of duty in 2013. KAG's HD News reporter Chris Costa shows us why their team includes more than just those on the bikes. Riding for a reason. First responders are biking from Plaquemine, Louisiana to Houston, honoring 19 fallen firefighters, 12 from West, 4 from Houston, 1 from Dallas, and 2 from Bryan. I think you would have to, if you asked each one of us, we know that our profession is very dangerous, and when we have a bad day, it's usually catastrophic for the families that are left behind. Bryan firefighter Matthew Deemer is one of the 41 who will bike almost 100 miles per day, sometimes more, and knew the two lieutenants, Eric Wallace and Gregory Pickard, who died in February 2013. We get sore and we know that this is absolutely nothing compared to what they all went through what the families went through. Firemen are just special people to us and to everyone in our family and all of our neighbors, so we, we salute these guys. There are firefighters, EMTs, and police officers from across the country on the Brotherhood ride. They say it's that network, that family of first responders, past and present, that keeps them motivated to keep riding. We all gave an, kind of an oath saying, you know, we will never forget, and we just kind of showing a year later that, you know, we're, we don't. Police and fire escorts from each county handed the riders off as they crossed county lines. It's showing the true spirit of Brotherhood Ride. Those guys are helping us make our goal to come in here to support the families. And they don't want anything more than to show, show them that they haven't forgotten either. So in a way, they're a part of our team just as much as we are. Honoring those who gave everything by giving as much as they can. Chris Costa, KAGS HD News. And since the ride began back in 2008, they have raised $191,000, which has gone directly to the families honored each year. Starting next year, Texas will have its own state chapter of the ride, and this year's ride ends Friday in Houston.